Hey everybody, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. I'm recording video all kinds of out of order today. But in the end, who cares, right? That's what cut and splice and... Oh, whatever you call it in video terms is for. So, hope you all are doing well. I know it's been a hot second since I threw anything up. Uh, spring break, tail end of spring break this week. Uh, so we were out camping... What, Saturday? Came home Tuesday. We went over to Lapine. If you're not familiar with Oregon, that's 30 minutes-ish south of Bend. Over right off of Highway 97. Major attraction was the High Desert Museum. And I thought, in, in my wisdom, I'm like, oh yeah, we'll get over there when it's not too busy. Visit the museum. I believe every parent in Bend was at that museum on Monday, but it, it actually wasn't bad. It was nice. They got a ton of outdoor exhibits. They've got uh, replica pioneer era cabins and, you know, blacksmith shops and all of that, and a functioning steam-powered sawmill that they have used to mill the lumber to make these various buildings in period correct form and all of that. It's really neat. I know I know they fire that up for the public every year. I think it's sometime in July or August, and I can't even imagine what the crowds are like at that point. So the odds I will ever see it run are slim to none, but it's pretty cool. One of the old belt drive, you know, giant circular saw with a carriage. Yeah, I mean, it, it's cool. It's cool. So they've got a Sasquatch room, which, I mean, you guys see my hat. You know I'm going to enjoy that. Uh, a lot of the desert animals that can be found in the the Great Basin, so to speak. Uh, the Great, you know, the yeah, that desert that's from southern Washington all the way to basically Mexico. I mean, so anyway, good stuff. So we camped over there. Came home Tuesday. I think the lowest low I saw was around 20 degrees, and I was pleasantly surprised. I had zero problems with the trailer, uh, no freezing or anything. They had told me when we bought that that it had tank heaters on it. And there are two illuminated switches that are not labeled. Thanks, guys. That I'm just assuming are tank heaters. And that's why I didn't have a problem with it. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. It was a great trip. So... Went up to the Firewood Hill today. Uh, there'll be some footage following. Uh, I didn't do nearly as much filming as I'd wanted to. It, it always happens. You know, you kind of get in a work rhythm and just, you know, start going. And then you're halfway through something going, oh, probably should have thrown the camera on that. So, big goal was it was a burn day, finally. So we burned three good size slash piles. Uh, we had a heavy wet snow three or so weeks ago that came through the this you know, valley and the surrounding hills. It did some pretty serious damage to some of the drones up there. Uh, one cluster, probably six, four or five trees, you know, in a cluster about like this and a root wad about like that just tipped right over, pulled the roots right out of the ground. And that I've never seen before, not on a madrone. That, that is odd. So, anyway, we got a lot of cleanup to do up there. There'll be a lot more opportunities, but I did fall a, a nice size fur. Gave the super easy a workout. And then uh, busted the XL500 out for some stuff. I'm no, I don't think I got it on camera today. It's, I think it's just the super easy with that full wrap that I was running. But it worked really well. Uh, got to use the winch on the front of the truck. Everything worked there. I'm always leery. Like, when I come home and I go, crap. The worst thing that happened was hitting a little crap with one chain. What's gonna go? What's gonna go wrong? The winch worked. The remote synced up. The wireless remote synced up to the winch without any trouble. Just like whoa. The burn piles lit without any trouble. I was like, eee. maybe I should buy a lottery ticket. I don't know, but it was a good day. It was a real good day. So other stuff going on. I'm still sorting through the uh, parts, the second half of the parts from that saw shop in Wisconsin, so uh, I haven't the foggiest idea what I'm going to find in there. I mean, I have an idea. It's all stuff from the, 
I would say late 60s up through the late 80s uh, based on the, the spreadsheet I looked at months upon months ago but again this is a lot I bought in two parts uh, I didn't have room for all of it here and I wanted to give a chance to list some stuff and make some of that investment back before buying the second half which it worked and it's working fine so you gotta go through that Spring is springing around here. Everything's bloomed. I'm seeing leaves bust out on trees. I'd say in a couple weeks, most of the trees will have leaves on them. Maybe not the oaks, but the uh, the cottonwoods, most of the orchards. Yeah, so it, it's pretty nice. I, I like this time of year. It's not too hot, but it gets warm enough that I can sit out here in a t-shirt, not be uncomfortable. Not have to worry about as much rain or wet snow. So, yeah. So, anyway, I'll throw a little bit of stuff in here uh, from the Firewood Hill. And we'll call it good. Happy Saturday. Happy Easter weekend, everyone. And, uh, yeah, I will catch you guys on the next one.
You think this Madrone ought to go? I would. I'd take it out. All right. That went through there like butter. Yeah. I know. Why oh, do you think I got guns? Yeah, you got guns. Now you can get back in the truck and we'll drag it the rest of the way down the hill with that.